Hey there, Daymore Sarah is back with a real camera this time. And I figure what better way to test out this new camera than with WCFs, small, very detailed figures. Though so before I, I start that, I would just like to say, I've reached a uh, hundred subscribers now, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, so thanks to all my subscribers and whatnot, and I'm happy to now be able to deliver higher quality videos with this new camera and actually be able to see the finer details of these figures but <clears throat> without further ado I suppose and I forgot to turn my TV off there but anyways um, today gonna be looking at WCF volume 15 and 16 as well since I only got three of them but to start off with volume 15, we've got Luffy. And just looking at the box, here's the others. The two I didn't get is Cobra and Igaram. Because I didn't want them. I mean, who really wants Igaram anyways? It's a lame character. But, you know, usual WCF box. And... The figure itself, I mean, jeez, look at that. You can actually see it. It's not blurry. This is just wonderful. I'm really getting a kick out of this, but yeah, he's pretty nice. Obviously, he's got the stitching in his hat there, and uh, his little... Uh, barrel from he got from the the old man at Yuba pretty nicely detailed too and yeah I just like the alabasta outfits really nothing to complain about this one and next will be Vivi She's wearing her Princess Lee attire, which is nice since there really aren't that many figures of her in this outfit. She's usually in the dancer outfit, which is kind of strange since she is a princess, you know. But anyways, this one's really nice. Lots of fine details, obviously in her dress. You can see... Like the little frills there and stuff. The shoes aren't painted the best, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, you can see the X there on her wrist. And her hair looks really nice too, and I like the hairband thingy. And... Then, well, next we have Karu, which is, I would have to say, definitely the best in the set, and quite frankly, one of the best WCFs I own. It's really, really well done. You can see lots of fine details in his feathers there, and... Yeah, just really, really awesome. His uh, feet, too. Got li lots of little details. And obviously, just the size comparison. A bit bigger. So, yeah, really nice. Honestly, I'm not... All that torn up about not having the P.O.P. anymore, because this one's pretty damn awesome. But, anyways, next is Pell. 
which is, I don't know, I just got him because I just kind of like Pell. I think he's kind of cool. And he turns into an eagle. Not too much to say about him, but he is pretty well done. He's got the detail on his hair. The cloth on his uh, hair band thingy looks pretty nice. All in all, pretty nice. Uh, and his sword doesn't look horribly bent for once. And then Chaka, who I really wasn't initially planning on getting, but... I decide, eh, he looks kind of cool, and he goes along with Pell, so may as well, and he is pretty cool, and not, maybe not as cool as I originally thought before I got him, but still, not too bad, though there is a bit of a paint flaw on his sash there. Don't know if you can really see that. But anyways. And you can uh, actually take off his cape as well. And there isn't a little notch in his back this time. So, Although I think his head looks a bit big without it on. He looks a little weird. And his sword is kind of, looks kind of thin, I don't know. But, in any case. Then, last for volume 15, we have Robin in her outfit that she had at the end of the Alabasta arc. Which is a pretty plain outfit. I wasn't really initially planning on getting her, but then I just decided to get her anyways. And she's pretty nice, really. I like the subtle posing with her bent leg. And she's got kind of that coy expression there. Not much to say about it, but... I mean, it's not that exciting, but it ain't bad. And then, moving on to volume 16. Here's, we've, this is basically Baroque Works based set. Except it's only the members that were in the Alabasta arc. So we got Crocodile. Again, I didn't get him because I already have the one from Volume 4. Although he does look pretty nice. And then, yeah, Miss All Sunday, Robin, and Mr. One, Ms. Double Finger, Mr. Two, Lasso. I don't know why anyone would want that stupid dog, but... And Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas. Again, I don't know why anyone would really want them, but... Whatever. So, <clears throat> here is Robin again in her alabasta outfit. Again, basically Miss All Sunday version. And obviously all of the... Uh, Figures in this set all have the arms crossed pose because it's based off of the cover of uh, volume 22, I believe, something like that. And yeah, she's got some little uh, markings there and stuff. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed in this one. Just seems a bit... I don't know, bland, and the paintwork is really splotchy around her arms, if you can see that. Yeah, see, like the hair, 
and her boots look nice. Not terribly bad, but I, I don't know. I guess I was kind of expecting a little more. I don't know. Anyways, and there's Mr. One. Yep. Not too much to say about him either. He's got uh, holes in his head. I don't know. His, his head looks a bit like a golf ball. Really. You can see his uh, tattoo there. Not too much to say, but he's nice, I suppose. Now we have uh, Mr. Two, which is the best out of the ones from Volume 16 that I own anyways. And I would say the best Mr. Two WCF, hands down. At least in this outfit. Although the... I don't know, the one in the prison outfit. I don't know. I just prefer this outfit anyways, because it's much more interesting. But <clears throat> the Mr. Two from Volume 1, I just think has a really stupid face. Whereas this one has a really awesome face. And look at that, you can see the veins on his forehead. So that's pretty nice detailing there. And yes, you can actually see that as with it as with my old camera, you probably wouldn't be able to. But now you can see it and that's awesome. But yeah. It's really nice WCF here. And that about does it for volume 15 and 16 in my first review with this new camera. And I think it turned out pretty well. So, that's, yeah, that's it. Day more sayer, and, uh, I know I'll just play around with the zoom. 42x optical zoom and it just got really blurry anyways goodbye